Welcome to your new life. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is grafted in, joined to him by faith, in him as Saviour, he is a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition have passed away. Behold, new things have come. Because spiritual awakening brings a new life. In Christ you are made a new person. But why are you new? Let's talk about the new you. Your old life you lived is dead to you. You turn away from your former sinful life, and you are now living to be the best person you can be. In and through Jesus Christ, with the help of the Holy Spirit. You are now someone who knows God and want to learn more and everything about Him. You know Him in everything that you do, through talking or praying to Him. You are no longer alone in this life journey. What will be exciting moments to look forward to? First, stop and think for a minute. What did you hate about your old, former life? Were you angry or depressed? Were you violent? Maybe everyone took advantage of you, or you were the person no one liked. Like everyone else, you are a person with a past. God set you free from that past. In fact, it is the old that has gone. You are new because you began a relationship with Jesus. There are changes coming to your life. And they are going to be good changes. Some of these changes will be challenging. But Jesus will help you through every moment. Just hold on to him and listen to the Holy Spirit. Secondly, there are lots of other people who need to know about Jesus just like you did. As you begin to live your new life journey, new people will be crossing your path. And old friends will leave that don't understand this new life you are living. But new friends will become part of your life journey. And as your life are changing, people will notice. And you will get to tell them why. And how Jesus changed your life. The Lord blesses you. And keeps you, protect you, sustain you, and guard you. The Lord make his face shine upon you with favor. And be gracious to you, surrounding you with loving kindness. The Lord lifts up his countenance face upon you with divine approval. And give you peace, 